Angie, I want to start with the letter that you wrote to Congress on March 23rd asking for some financial aid that would help those 250,000 small businesses in your network. Have you heard back from Congress? So obviously Congress has done a nice job of passing an initial, an initial funding for small businesses over $300 billion. You know, but the key here now is we're looking at them potentially funding more as well as how we're administering those funds is to really think about how we're helping the smallest of the small businesses. You know, the, the fund funds companies up to 500 people. A lot of the home pros and the home uh, pro businesses that we see are five people, 20 people. They're super tiny. So making sure that it's simple and easy to access uh, it's going to be really important to making sure that the industry can access these critical funds. What does simple and easy to access look like to you? Because we know the Small Business Association has been overloaded. I think businesses that were receiving right. cash still haven't gotten them. So how do you improve that process and cut out that red tape? What does that look like to you? You know, a couple of things. I think there's an opportunity uh, for the administration to set aside dollars, you know, based on the size of the businesses, because obviously the sophistication of the folks applying is going to be different. You know, companies at the higher end of that scale of employees probably have applied for loans, have loans, and have that experience. For these smaller ones that might only have two or three employees and are experiencing something that's never been seen before is in this in this economy are going out and trying to figure out how to do loans. And they may not even have a banking relationship. So how do we get in contact with those small businesses? How do we make it easy for them to access these funds when it can be incredibly overwhelming? Your business is unique in that we think of electricians, plumbers, who try to go into your home. And obviously during these times when we're practicing social distancing, those people can't come into your home to fix some of the necessary repairs. What do you then tell those people in your network? What are they saying to you? Well, a couple of things. One, a number of the, the uh, types of businesses that are represented on Home Advisor or Angie's List are actually essential businesses. So a lot of times electricians and plumbers, HVAC companies, in many of the states are essential because if your water heater is leaking all over your floor, you can't wait a few weeks. But what's been really impressive in talking to the pros is really how they're incorporating the CDC guidelines on how to make sure they are being safe for both their customers as well as their employees, doing things from making sure they're wearing protective gear, doing extra sanitizing, doing much of their interaction via telephone or video conferencing if they can, and really taking care and listening to their customers so that they're comfortable and safe during those interactions.